been out less than a week, so not a lot of time that She's we're dealing with. Already. I, have not, I, have. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I did find a Pokemon in our, in our conference room, room yeah. today. Uh, but Pokemon Go, the app, continues to make headlines. The latest concerns about how it works and how it may be actually using your personal information. Yeah, local news reporter Casey Wheelis earlier today talked with an app developer about it and found that this, Pokemon Go, is actually boosting some local business. It's a normal day at Sugar Mama's in downtown Knoxville. And they your seat. Until this guy showed up. It's been interesting. That's a Pokemon, and he's one of the reasons you're seeing people glued to their phones. We've had quite a few people come in looking for Pokemon, and oftentimes they'll stay and have a beer or eat a cookie or something. You have the thing buzz in my phone, and I'll just mess with it. Sugar Mama says the app has actually given them a boost in business. People who might not normally come in coming in and seeing what we are and getting a chance to try something. The app has an estimated 7.5 million downloads in the United States alone, making it one of the most popular apps, not only for adults, but also for children. We wanted to know why. Maybe this guy knows. Nothing really like this as far as active usership. You know, it's daily active users is already above Twitter on Android, so it's it's really catching on quick. John McCauley has developed apps. He says the last game he saw get close to this amount of users was Angry Birds that launched in 2009. But even that app took several weeks to catch on. The interesting thing that they're using is the GPS and the clock together because the number of Pokemon and the types of Pokemon you can catch throughout the game uh, change based on where you are and what time of day it is. McCauley believes this will be a launching point for future apps. I think that it's very cool how they're using the map and allowing people to uh, peg things on the map and create pinpoints. Bringing back a 90s trend that's attracting both kids and adults. It's basically nostalgia like on the phone. And sugar mamas are good with the pocket monsters as long as they keep bringing in business. Pokemon are for customers only. <laughs> Reporting in Knoxville, Casey Wheelis, Local 8 News. Now I just want some cookies. <laughs> Forget the Pokemon. Uh, there is a safety factor to this. We told you about this yesterday. Several police departments, including Knoxville Police, have posted warnings. They say, do not play this while you're driving. It could distract you. Don't walk into traffic and play this. And also, be aware of your surroundings. There have been reports of people robbing folks. While they're playing. While yeah. they're playing. The people playing the game get robbed. Yeah. Be careful.